What's going on YouTube? How's everybody today? It's great to hear. Uh, so you guys know me, I'm not a big like kind of techno rave kind of dude, but there's this one album I just picked up at random just so I could have something to do while I was cleaning up at the club. I had to do a little, uh, before we open, a little waxing of the floor and like, you know, just doing, you know, odds and ends work, just labor, you know, grunt work. And I picked up this album called uh, Soul Wax. Oh, I can actually see the illusion pretty well on the camera. Uh, Soul Wax Night Versions released in 2005 on Pius Records and all it is, like I I didn't know anything about Soul Wax. I didn't know diddly shit about these guys. Uh, it turns out this is just a remix and reworking album of their previous album called uh, uh, Any Minute Now. I haven't actually listened to the album. This, this is the only Soul Wax album I have. And they are, well, the cool thing about Soul Wax is they started in 1992 as just this kind of alt-rock grunge band and just gradually became more electronic. They just started playing around with loops and keyboards and like electronic hand claps as their career progressed. They took a break from recording albums for a while and released four volumes of uh, compilation albums that had bands like uh, Tony Basil and The Police and Prince matched up with bands like uh, Roy Xop and The Mekons and Beastie Boys, like all kinds of like, you know, just random, you know, probably influences on their music. But yeah, then they turned out to be this total kind of like dance punk, electro clash kind of electro rock kind of band but yeah it was I remember um, one of my best friends chad was helping me clean that day and we were just listening to this on the ghetto blasters because we we're cleaning up for a dance club so we had a pretty good sound system when we were playing this it's like i just bought the cd soul wax and he's like oh i heard some soul wax stuff and they suck and their back catalog does really suck it sounds like some shitty muse or radiohead kind of wannabe music with like trying to have a sense of humor and writing songs about overweight karate kids and stuff like that and this is like ugh. But I didn't know anything about them. I'm like, oh, it sucks. So we put it in. It was just mind-blowingly good. We we're like, holy shit, this is like full throttle, like you know, over the top kind of like club music. But it was actually really, really good. It had a lot of variety on it. A lot of crazy sounds and crazy builds. It wasn't just like some idiots making beats just to make a quick buck. You could tell these guys actually had like a lot of passion and affection for their music and stuff. It was pretty cool. I really liked it. Lots of crazy guitar riffs and samples and like uh, they sample like Lips Incorporated and like Daft Punk on here. Like it's still very like high energy and pretty club friendly sounding but it's also like very driven and very kind of cool. I would say it's probably one of the best electronic albums I've ever heard is this album. It's very like very much so like techno and a rock and roll album combined. It's pretty pretty crazy. Uh, Soul Wax is led by two brothers. Uh, their names are David and Steph uh, Duelli. I don't know if I said the last name right but yeah, it's just a remix album of their previous album that was released in the same year called Any Minute Now. And I, I've listened to some of it and it's alright, but it doesn't like really hold a candle to this. This is just a crazy little album with all these sick sounds and like synths and guitars and like bleeps and bloops and like, I don't know man, it's just really over the top, really heavy, really kind of rambunctious. Like, it is an extended kind of remix album, so there's a couple of like, you know, rough spots on it. Like, it's not a perfect album, some of the lyrics are cheesy. Like there's this one song called uh, E Talking, I think it's called. Let me just double check on the title there. Yeah, E Talking, and it's all about like ecstasy. It's like, well, that's not you. It's the E Talking about being on ecstasy and stuff. But yeah, the lyrics can be sometimes, you know, something to be desired there. But this, the rhythms and like the actual instrumentation here is just insane. It's crazy. A lot of uh, references to like disco and funk on here too, and like some early rave music and shit like that. But yeah, pretty good stuff. These guys hang out with a lot of cool uh, kind of electronic dudes that I look up to, like the DFA label dudes. And, uh, well, I already said like Roy Xop, but there's also like the Dead remixes for like Gorillaz and LCD Sound System, uh, New Young Pony Club, Justice, The Klaxons. They've, they've, they've done tons of remixes actually. They have a very, very long list of dudes they've remixed before. That's kind of what they're kind of known for is remixes, but this is a really, really good album by them. I don't know if that album is hurting anybody's eyes. But yeah, it's just Illusions on here. It's got a little uh, track listing. Nice little hot pink album. These are all illusions too. If you like do Magic Eye, I guess if you have the album, you can kind of see a band member in there. It's another band member space hidden in this one. 
as well as this one. Yeah, not much in the way of artwork, just this weird kind of magic eye stuff on there. Bright pink, but... Yeah, I remember when we first listened to it, we were just like, our jaws dropped, and we were like, it was pretty cool, actually. Uh, it does have a lot of variety on it, but for the most part, it's a high energy, kind of driven, kind of electronic, electro clash affair, though. I had no idea, it was just some remixes and stuff like that, but we were just like, wow, this is really good, I had no idea. And they don't really have any other really good albums that I could really find. I went through their catalog and listened to little clips of their songs, and it was all like, meh. But yeah, really, really badass album. Like I said, probably one of the best electronic dance albums ever if you're into that kind of stuff. But yeah, and this is coming from a guy who usually thinks that just kind of like, you know, techno or house music is just kind of stupid, redundant, repetitive, derivative, drivel music for like genos and like stupid cheesy club people, you know. It's usually just brainless music for some brainless people and drug addicts and stuff like that. But it was really, really good. This album really impressed me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Soul Wax Night Versions, released in 2005 on Pius.